Dear sisters and brothers in Jesus Christ, Who am I? What are my core values? The answer to these questions we find in the Gospel of this fifth Sunday of Ordinary Time, Year A, from Matthew chapter 5, verses 13 to 16. Jesus teaches that his disciples are to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. The fundamental question is that of daring to go deep within ourselves, to visit the details of our heart, to find what is hidden there, and to let the light of the Lord shine forth. To be salt means to deliberately seek to influence the people in one's life by showing them the unconditional love of Christ through good deeds. Jesus wants us to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. To be salt and light is not optional. Jesus didn't say you could be or you had the potential to be. He said, you are. When Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, he meant that all of his followers have to serve as custodians, stopping moral decay in our sin-ridden world. Just as now, salt was used in Jesus' time for flavoring as a preservative and as a healing agent. The second half of Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5, verse 13 states, But if the salt loses its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored to it? It is no longer good for anything, except to be driven out and trampled underfoot by men. Jesus did not say we can lose our salvation. He said we can lose our salinity. When salt is contaminated, it becomes corrosive and toxic. Contaminated salt cannot even be used as fertilizer in the field, so it has to be dumped on the road. As light, we have to illuminate or make visible. Our lives are to be an ongoing witness to the reality of Christ's presence in our lives. When we worship God with a pure heart, when we love others as ourselves, and when we do good tirelessly, we are shining lights. The Gospel passage we hear in this Sunday reminds us that all who profess to follow Jesus must be forthright witnesses to the faith handed down to us. Indeed, forcefully does Jesus address his disciples, You are the light of the world. No one after lightning a lamb puts it under a bushel basket, but on the lamb stand, and it gives light to all in the house. Dear friends, let us reflect what light already burning within me might be magnified to bring hope to another's darkness. What light already burning within me might be magnified to bring warmth to the heart of one grown cold. Either We are salt and light by the grace of God or we are willfully disobeying him who saved us. If we are salt and light, then we can expect fruits of our faithfulness. We are invited to be salt of the earth and light of the world. Through the metaphors of salt and light, Jesus Christ states the nature of our collective mission as a church and our individual mission as Christians. 
being the salt and light to others will always bring us out to the spotlight what this means is that the christian life is never a hidden one may the lord give us the grace to discover who we are and what we carry deep in our hearts so that we can respond to his word and be salt of the earth and light of the world because to enter into ourselves is to set out to meet the lord and to meet him is to enter the path of life glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen friends be sharers of the word of god by sharing this homily to one or two of your friends god bless you